Hey everyone, I am Bianca. Today I'm going to show you some Dollar Tree DIYs for your kitchen. I think y'all are really going to like these, so let's get started. Okay, so for the first DIY, I am using three wood pallets from Dollar Tree. And you might know what I'm making already because I posted a picture yesterday and over on Instagram as well. I'm making a measuring spoon holder and this was actually really, really easy. So I'm just going to remove the tags. I'm going to glue them this way. So this is going to be the front side. But you could also flip them on the opposite side and glue them that way just depending on the look you're going for. So what I'm going to do is use some of this Gorilla Wood Glue with my hot glue and that's just so that way it can stay put together in the long run with the wood glue and then for right now, you know, hot glue dries within seconds. So I put a, a dot of wood glue in the center and then hot glue on the other two sides. I'm gonna do the same thing and add the third palette. I'm gonna use my antique wax to stain the measuring cup holder and you just really have to get in there with your bristle brush to get on the inside of the palettes. And I'm also adding a little bit of water to my brush just depending on how dark or light you want the stain and even if you don't want to do a stain you can also paint it. Now I'm going to show you the hooks I'm using for the measuring spoon holder. Off to the side, I have these chains. They are from the Dollar Tree plant holder. And they have three, I believe three chains, so three hooks on there. I'm gonna use these hooks. So I'm just gonna remove them from the chain and I'm gonna add it to this. And I'm just going to remove the chains from that hook with my stem cutters. Now I'm going to flip the hook upside down and I'm going to close in the wider part of the hook a little bit more. And this is how I'm going to set the hooks inside of the pallets on the bottom row. These are the three measuring cups I am using for this. Remember, you can also pick some up from Dollar Tree if you need to and you can also make this pallet longer if you want. I'm going to use this Dollar Tree chalk marker and I'm going to write the measurements on here and I'm also going to spell out measuring cups at the top. So this part is definitely customizable. You can use Dollar Tree words or transfers. You can use your Cricut. You can use poster stickers. Anything you want for a more clean look or you can go this route that I'm going. So this type of thing is perfect to use command strips because they won't leave holes in your wall. And then I just have those Dollar Tree lavender flowers and the cutting board at the bottom is from Hobby Lobby. Also the command strips are located below in my Amazon store if you want to purchase some. I love buying the, um, the value pack because it comes with a lot for a really good price. Okay, so for the next simple DIY, we are going to use this Dollar Tree vase. So the first thing I'm gonna do is clean it really good with some glass cleaner. That way I can go outside and spray paint it. And the reason for that is so the spray paint sticks well. No 
So while that's outside drying, I'm going to take these Dollar Tree pieces from the backgammon game and I'm going to use the small little square pieces to spell out kitchen. So I need seven of them and I'm going to stain them with my antique wax. And just like in the first DIY, I'll be using a little bit of water to thin out the wax. Once those were dry, I used my Cricut to cut out some letters to spell out kitchen to add it to the pieces. So if you don't have a Cricut, then you can use some like poster stickers from Dollar Tree or Walmart. Or you can use stencils, you know, whatever you have on hand to spell out whatever you need to spell out. So I was going to spell out utensils on here, but that required eight of the little square pieces and the eight square pieces wouldn't have fit on the base. So I decided to use the word kitchen instead. And I still think once you see it, it came out really pretty. I just really love the matte look especially in black paint. It just looks so pretty and modern and high-end. What we're gonna do now is go ahead and hot glue on the little square pieces and I'm just gonna set them on here and see how they fit first. Make sure they're straight and then I'll glue them on. So the wooden spoons, I got them in a value pack from Walmart a while back, but you can also buy them at Dollar Tree for a dollar each. The cutting board in the back is from Marshalls, I believe, and then I have some greenery next to it from the Target Dollar Spot a while back inside of a Hobby Lobby base. On to DIY number three. If you are still here, leave a little clap emoji in the comments below, just so I know that you are still watching. So for this next one, I'm using two Dollar Tree gold baskets and I'm also using two Dollar Tree wooden crates. So this is how I'm going to set it up. I'm going to add the crate at the bottom with the basket on the top. So this is just to give it some detail and just to make it look cute basically. And again, I'm using watered down wax to stain the little crates. And meanwhile, outside I have the baskets drying. I went and spray painted them with that same matte black spray paint. If you enjoy Dollar Tree DIYs, make sure you are subscribed. I enjoy doing this and I appreciate every single one of y'all so, so much. So if you like this video, make sure you give me a thumbs up because it really helps my channel out. In my last video, I talked about my nails because lately I have been doing them myself. I go back and forth. I like to do my nails on my own. And then I also, I mean, there are times I like to go to the nail salon too. So check out my Instagram because I have a story saved on my profile called Home Manicure. So you can see how easy it is to get some really inexpensive nails that will last you a couple weeks. Okay, so now that everything is dry, I'm going to connect the two with some zip ties. So this part is really easy. I'm just going to add the zip ties to the side where the handle is on the crate and then wrap it around the basket as well. So then I'll just cut off the excess. I didn't tighten it all the way yet because I want to go ahead and add the other one on the opposite side and then just to make sure it's centered the way I want it and then I'll start to tighten it.
just with those two zip ties alone, it stayed in place really well. Both of these baskets that I'm using are going to be for storage. This one in particular is going to be for these small towels. So I'm adding a decal that says towels. And then for the other one, I'm going to add fruit in that one. So I'm adding a decal that says fruit. For DIY number four, I'm making a cute little rolling pin sign with these Dollar Tree domino pieces and they are made out of wood. And I'm also using some wood slats that I got at Walmart. They do have these at Dollar Tree, but I can never find this type of wood slat. I found the square ones, but I cannot find these rectangle ones. So I just picked some up from Walmart for a couple dollars. So this is how I'm going to set it up and now we're going to paint it. Using the same method, I'm using some watered down antique wax. Now I'm using some black apple barrel paint and it is matte on the long wood slat. Now I'm going to hot glue the side domino pieces to the bottom of the wood slat and I'm just making sure it's in the center and then I'm also going to measure just to see how much of the domino I have sticking out and I did about one and a half inches sticking out. I cannot believe I found one of these pieces at my local Dollar Trees. I found the last three, so I picked them up. <laughs> and what I'm going to do with it is remove the center piece where it says our family gathers here. And I'm going to add it to the rolling pin. And not to worry, I'm saving the back piece for another DIY. I'm trying my best to think of a really good DIY to do with them. So we'll see if I can come up with something soon. On to DIY number five, I'm using six of these Dollar Tree drawers. I have five new ones here and one recycled one. Um, I only found five when I recently went to Dollar Tree. So what I'm going to do is make a little caddy with them. And I'm only going to use the outside part of these drawers because I need all of them to be the same size. So that's why I picked up, well, five, but I needed six large ones. And I'm showing you the difference in sizes, of course, the smaller one inside of the drawer is well, smaller, like I said. I'm removing everything and then we're going to stain them with my antique wax. So I'm going to stack them on top of each other. That's why the two bottom ones, I didn't paint them on the inside because you're not going to see them. And I completely forgot to mention that I got the inspiration for this from Pottery Barn. So I'm going to insert a picture so you can see that.
And now I'm gonna add hot glue to stack them on top of each other. Now that that's glued together, I'm using these wood dowels from Dollar Tree. I'm going to place it in the center to kind of give me that same look as the Pottery Barn one. And I'm gonna cut them with my stem cutters and paint them black. So once I cut those, I'm gonna paint them and then come and glue them on. And then we'll also kind of measure out to see how long the dowels need to be on the sides as well. At the last minute, I decided to add these small little wood blocks to the bottom of the caddy. So I'm going to paint them black and then hot glue them to the bottom. So I'm sure you can tell the bottom three blocks are, or drawers are just for looks. It's just to give it that same look as the Pottery Barn one, but look, you can still fit your spoons, forks, you know, butter knives, measuring spoons in there. I just thought it looked really high end and it would fit way more spoons and forks. I just added a few in there. For the sixth and final DIY, I am gonna make a little tiered stand to go on my counter. And I'm using these Dollar Tree pieces. I have those four little drawers that were inside of the bigger ones from the last DIY. I'm gonna use four of those and I'm just gonna show you how it's gonna be set up before I start painting everything. And then I also have two of the wood palettes from Dollar Tree that are gonna go at the bottom. So it's gonna be two tier, like I said, that way I can set things on it like spices, coffee mugs, and uh, things like that. I'm gluing the two palettes together and then I'm gonna flip it around on the opposite side and take the rest of the dowel that I used in the last DIY and I'm gonna add it where they meet just so it's a better hold. And now I'm going to glue all four of the drawers together. And then I'm going to paint everything black. Now I'm going to glue both of these together using some wood glue and hot glue.
I turned it around and I'm going to add more wood dowels where they meet for the same reason of just a stronger hold. Now I'm going to use some Dollar Tree craft sticks. I'm going to add two of them on the drawer areas right on the ends just to give it more detail. So I'm measuring it out. I'm going to cut it with my scissors and then we're going to use the antique wax to stain them. I'm using these Dollar Tree stickers and I want to paint four of them with my matte black paint. Once they dry, I'm going to stick them onto the crab sticks and then glue them onto the drawers. So I have a couple of mugs at the top, on the top tier, and then at the bottom I have a couple of little mason jars with salt and garlic powder. The middle glass piece is from Dollar Tree. I was going to add some olive oil in there, but the opening at the top is just too small, so I don't even know how I would put anything in there. I tried to use a funnel too, and it's just still too small. So I also have a little napkin laying there it's a spring one from kroger and then an ikea white bucket with some florals in there thank you for staying till the end i appreciate that so much stay safe and i'll see y'all in the next video